And I'm here today with Lizzie from Sweet Donside Cabins and Sweetheart Cottage up in the Cairngorms in Scotland. Um, we designed a website for um, Lizzie back in 2020. Um, and before that, she um, was listing her properties on Airbnb mostly. Um, and she just we was just wanted to have a chat with Lizzie, really, to talk to you guys about one of the questions that we get asked quite a lot is, if I've got a listing on Airbnb, why do I need my own website? So we thought rather than us talk about the reasons why um, we think that it's a good idea, we would talk to an owner and let Lizzie tell you how she, her experience of, of, of working um, towards doing just that and getting her own direct booking. So Lizzie, do you want to share some of your story with, with the listeners today? No bother. Hi, Joe. Good to see you again. Yeah. Um, we we started. We were looking at the, the our direct web page because we were getting a lot of indirect bookings, and um, that led to some double bookings at the time as well. And we were at, people were asking us, um, "You're cheaper if we come direct to, directly through you than Airbnb. So can we just come directly through you?" It was becoming quite a hassle because we were with um, about two three lets at that time, so juggling it was quite difficult. And we really knew we had to get the website out there so we'd get better exposure. We had the Airbnb, we had the Instagram page and people were asking, have you got a web page? And we never. And um, we actually came across you guys looking at other um, local um, holiday lets. And one of one of them, I went, oh, I really like this, this web page they've got here. So we contacted and it was you guys and that's how we found you. So, yeah, it's it's the best thing we've ever done. Fantastic. And because originally, so you, so you started out with your cottage and two cabins when, when we first um, did, when we first did, built the website yeah. and um, you had Russell came along to do some professional photography for you. Yeah. Uh, and how did the, how did, how did, because sometimes we talk to owners and their reaction when they see the professional photography is always, is always worth trying to share with people. But how did you feel when you saw your professional photographs? Oh, we love the professional photographs. Uh, Russell was fantastic. He was so easy to work with. And I, beforehand, I'd said, what would I need to do? What, is there anything I need to get in there that would look better? Such, you know, like flowers, um, coffee mugs, things like that, that, you know, the, that you would have there anyway, but just set it up. You guys were brilliant. Yeah, have that on hand. We'll work with it. If it works, it does. If it doesn't, we'll not use it. And we 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 choose we we choose choose the best photograph that that was seen that actually suited the cabins yeah. and the cottage that was realistic to what it wasn't something like um, a hammock with a cocktail in your hand or anything like that. It was a a, a mug, uh, an outdoor camping mug, you know, with hot chocolate and marshmallows at the campfire. Which that's what we do. That's what we're all about. So it worked perfectly. It was really good. And the feedback we got was fantastic. Oh, that's really good. And you, and it's nice to have a nice mix of photos so you can use them um, on 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 your listing sites on like Airbnb and things, as well as on your own website and on Instagram. And 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 what's nice about Instagram is you have a real nice mix of like the professional photog photos with yeah. everyday photos, which is brilliant. Yeah. You have to tell the story and stuff. So. So you've talked about what made you um, think that it was a good time to get a direct booking website. Um, so how, what was it like, the process of going from everything being managed via Airbnb to managing everything once all the website was put together and we worked really closely on the copywriting and the content and making sure that it really told your story and really represented what it, what Sweet Donside Cabins and Sweet Heart Cottages is like. Mm -hmm. Um, how much effort did it feel on your part that all of a sudden you're in control in the majority of your own bookings? Was it a lot of hard work? Not at all, not at all. It gave us so much free time because we weren't on the phone. People weren't um, directly phoning us all the time. They were just going through the website and we were we were looking at the phone saying, oh, we've got a booking. Oh, we've got another booking. So it was that, that was quite exciting. So yeah. we, went from, we went from being Airbnb that was a, our biggest domain was Airbnb to direct bookings just sort of switched overnight, which was fantastic. It was so good. And the other thing was people were saying, oh, we can, um, what what cabins have you got? What different cabins have you got? And we were saying, go onto the website, you can do a 3D walk-in, which was fantastic, and through the cottage and the cabins. And you can see everything that we've got there along with all the photographs. And that was a game changer for us. Brilliant. Yeah, so it really helps to sort of set expectations and what have you. Yeah. And so and so you went from just taking um when before your website, if if 
if bookings did come direct to you, it was from doing a payment via Bax payment, which again was probably yeah. took a bit more managing. And then we we had a we had a bit of a chat, didn't we, and, and sort of looked at the different property management softwares that were available out yeah. there and which ones had the right channel manager functions so that it could up yeah. what you were talking about earlier, update your listings yeah. on other sites as well. Um so and then that was all added into your website as well. So yeah, that yeah. all works nicely. Um as far as the type of guests that you started getting via your own website, was there any big difference on that side of things? I would say we started to get a lot more local mm -hmm. as well. So we're 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 an hour from Aberdeen. We're about an hour and a half from Inverness. We're two hours for Dundee. So we started to see a lot of local people because they were spreading the word. So we were getting people that were coming that were saying, go and look at this this web page, look at their Facebook, you can book, book direct with them. And that's we noticed a massive uplift in that. But what we've noticed this year is we're getting a lot of direct bookings from Denmark. Okay. Which is lovely. And mm -hmm. so that's the foreigners. We've got um, direct bookings from America. So we're seeing that coming through the web page now as well. So your website's getting a really good reach then if you're getting those sort of direct huge reach huge reach mm -hmm. which is great yeah and it's probably worth mentioning as well that you do need to put some work in as an owner yourself to do that so so on the website <laughs> side of things that yeah we work with you to put all of the search engine optimization seo stuff in and yeah. to make sure so so on our part we do our best to really help tell your story and make sure it's got all the right words yeah. in it to, to appeal to the right people but then you as an owner you need to do some of your own marketing as well don't you yeah yeah so, we, absolutely you've got to be on top of it all the time yeah, but you've got to make it fun. I make yeah. it fun. I enjoy doing it. I mean, sometimes it's when it's a bit slower, you've got a rainy day, you're like, oh, what am I going to put out there? And But you just find something, you put it out. So my thing at the minute is I use the husband, which is the big Kiwi, and um, that works really well. So people actually come now and they say, where's the big Kiwi? Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's fun. And, and you keep everyone up to it because... Again, what I haven't mentioned is the big kiwi makes all of the cabins by hand. They're yeah, all totally bespoke. So I'm actually the the picture behind me on, on my yeah. screen right now is is one is one of Lizzie's um is one of Lizzie's. It's the we which one is it? Is Beehive. It? Beehive. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So so they're they're all really unique and quirky and have their own sort of story to tell, which is all great, all yeah. handmade. And what Lizzie and um, does brilliantly on social media is record so so since um the website was launched with two cabins and 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 one cottage you've now added another two cabins yeah. and so people that follow them on social media can really watch that journey and and see it and it's it's yeah. really good and it personalizes it and it shows the people behind behind you know, it tells yeah. your story as well which is always really good um and we've been able to add those to your website as well and at the moment yeah. you're building your wedding hub as well now we are we are yeah we've had, we've had a lot of requests for um micro weddings that was mm -hmm. one of the things that we wanted to do when we started the project anyway but we've done two weddings so far but we don't have the facility they were they got married outside and they had the tp tents up and things like that but we want to build the main hub because we're getting so much requests now for it and people just come they're like oh this would be magical you know we could just it would be small about up to 20 people which is fine we'll, we want to keep it really small and really bespoke which is our thing so that's fine yeah. for us brilliant yeah. okay so that's all good and we'll, we'll get that added when that's ready as well to yeah. the website, so that's all good so um we were talking actually before the call. We were, um, Lizzie and I were having a little chat about the difference of Airbnb or, or online booking agents and 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 getting direct bookings. And we were, we were looking at a few figures, Lizzie, weren't we? And, and looking at um, looking at how many bookings you get direct versus um, bookings through Airbnb and what have you. And you you do really well on that. I think it's something like yeah, we 70, do. somewhere like seventy percent or two thirds of the bookings in twenty twenty two. Yeah. We're about 70% direct bookings and the rest is Airbnb um, or, yeah, it's mostly Airbnb. We tried pitch up. We didn't really like that. So we mm -hmm. came off it. Um, I think we got three bookings through that. We could have got more, but I, did, I didn't like the system. It was too complicated. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that wasn't for us at all. There's there's things that are for you and things that aren't. So you just try what will work and what won't. Um, but, yeah, the, the website is our, our biggest earner. That's what we our biggest income's coming from the, our website. Yeah, yeah and we, perfect. And we and we were looking at actually what that what that means in money value, weren't we? For both, yeah. For you as an owner, from save the commission that you save on 
that, that you don't have to pay on your direct bookings is yeah. is huge. Was huge for the it's it's really significant for the year twenty twenty two. Yeah, I think we worked it out. It was just about twenty thousand. Yeah, that, absolutely. That, <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, that that's huge. So when we look at that, we think, well, that can be going back in our local community when people are coming, they'll spend more money. Yeah. And um, and what we'll find is we'll, if we get Airbnb bookings, we've actually gotten our guest books. If you book direct, you'll save your fifteen percent. So now we're getting people that are booking direct after they they're, they're coming Airbnb, and yeah. it, it's quite funny because we'd had a couple, and I'd noticed them um, when I'd went and looked at them on Airbnb, they'd been here before, and I thought, God, geez, that's strange. They've not booked direct. So when they arrived, and I says to them, Oh, you never booked direct, and they went, We've been here four times, but we've got gift vouchers from Airbnb. B&B, so we had to use them uh, and I thought that was so sweet mm, absolutely but they said but no the next time we'll, we'll book direct it's just that we had these vouchers which was nice so again that's really interesting so people find people might find you in the first place from Airbnb but then yeah. when they come back again and you get again you get a lot of repeat bookings don't you people that come yeah. back and book like, direct the second time yeah, yeah and we get we get to- yeah, we get we get um, sisters, brothers, cousins, aunties, mums, dads, and then it's, it's it's hysterical. And then now we're finding is people want a group book. Yeah, oh, that, yeah so that's they, good. They, yeah, they want to come with their friends, so they, they maybe want to book the cottage for their mum, and then they'll they'll book a couple of cabins for uh, family, which that's is great. Fantastic. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Um, we talked a little bit. Uh, about um, the reach of your own website versus the OTAs and like you said it's it's not proven a problem for you you've still got you've got a really good audience and good stats and everything um how do you feel about do, do you do you get from from a cancellations point of view sometimes Airbnb is known for for being a platform that's really easy for guests to sort of cancel for whatever reason yeah um, how do, how does that how does what's the feeling that you get from that from any cancellations that might happen direct versus the bookings that come through Airbnb and what have you? What we noticed that the, the beginning of this month, January, and um, we we started getting people saying um, all the same excuse, the absolute same excuse. My partner's in hospital. My partner's not well. So we would say, look at your travel insurance and look at our policy. This is what you booked. Look, mm-hmm. Go back to our web page and look at our T's and C's. But but we'll we'll be we'll try and be very accommodating to people, yeah. And we'll say and we'll say um, if can you prove it? Mm-hmm. Have you if, is there any you know can? But we will always say go back to your travel insurance. You should have travel insurance. And what we found is people says, oh my girlfriend's just got out of hospital. We're going to come. <laughs> if it, yeah. Honest, there was not one. As soon as I said that, there was not one person that cancelled. They all came. Because I said, sorry, go over T's and C's. Um, look, if you've got travel insurance, I'm happy to give you a receipt for your travel insurance that this has been cancelled. Mm-hmm. Every person came, not Absolutely. one cancelled. Airbnb, ha- Airbnb, Airbnb this- they they just cancelled. Okay. They just cancelled, and I'm and I'm saying to Airbnb, you're not even asking for evidence if these people are not well, and we're losing money out of this. So you and you're sort of going back and forth and you're arguing and I'm, and you you lose a bit of heart on it, you know. Yeah. So de- definitely, it's better being in control of that. Okay. Absolutely. And similarly with the review system, and I feel like I'm picking on Airbnb a lot here, but it's, it's sort of it's it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. talking about. So with the review system, they, they, they they've got on Airbnb the system where both the guests can review the owners and the owners review yeah. the guests, and so it can feel a bit. A, a little bit trapped sometimes I suppose or a bit obliged to give her not a not perfectly honest review is that yeah, something yeah. that you ever sort of felt pulled into how do, how do you feel about that oh, side ab- of things? absolutely we've pulled into that quite quite a few times but um you let li- you live and learn through that and mm-hmm. um, there's been a few things that have happened in Airbnb well Airbnb's actually had to pull the review because it's just been lies say there's been um damage and because we're a super host and we're consistent in what we do um Airbnb will look at that and they'll say yeah that's not right so if we say a cut we say I guess this has been damaged there's photograph evidence you have to do it straight away mm-hmm. everything straight away you're going back and forth with Airbnb um and then obviously the guests can put up horrible reviews um that that's just part and part of the part that's what we'll have to put up with sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, the direct booking system, if 
where we're free to book and if the guest leaves a bad review we don't have to post that up yeah absolutely so again what, it, it's a little bit more yeah. control on that side of things yeah okay okay so that's all it's all been really interesting lizzie so so from what you're saying and from the facts and figures that, that you've been happy to share today yeah. to somebody that um says oh i do fine on airbnb i don't need my own website it sounds a bit like a no-brainer absolutely i'll tell you another thing that was fantastic airbnb guests the majority of them leave the place an absolute mess okay so your 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 cleaning your cleaning fees go up because you're having to pay your cleaner a lot more um an hour wise so with the direct booking system we've got a good housekeeping policy which is a hundred pound deposit that was an absolute game changer for us people okay. leave the place nice and Absolutely. there's a lot less damage just and it's only a hundred pounds so they put and they get that we send that back to their card once they leave and we've never had any problems with that whatsoever but that was a game changer brilliant and that's um and I wonder how much of that as well is is to do with with you and your personality and the relationship that, that you yeah. build a bit more when they're booking direct and yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting a bit more respectful to your property and and, yeah. and everything and 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 I know again I'll touch back on this earlier on in our conversation um but we made quite an effort when we were putting the, the copywriting together for your website to say you know yeah. guys we really are remote there's no delivery there's no buses yeah. does 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 that help so that really sort of manage expectations in that sense, as well as having, you know, the 3D virtual tool so people can have a look around yeah. and, see, and, and see the photos and see exactly what they're coming to. Is, is that easier? Does that come across on your Airbnb listing, I suppose? Is it easy to communicate that? Or do you, or if people are do have concerns about how remote you are, do yeah. they tend to be your Airbnb guests rather than the ones that come direct? The, the Airbnb, the, this is one of the biggest grinds for me is location. Mm -hmm. So... And Airbnb, a lot of the guests just don't get it. So we're going to say, look, we're remote. You can't get a just eat. We're in the Cairngorms National Park. This is what we are. We're, we're here. You, it's, it's a chilled out place. It's a little retreat. It's not, we're not in a busy village. Or in, so trying to get that across was quite difficult on Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And we had to put it in the description because what we were getting is like a three for um, location. And then some people were scoring as five for location because it's, a, it's in a stunning area. You're exactly. next to the river Dawn. But they they just couldn't get this, you know. Mm -hmm. So even when I get an Airbnb booking, I'll say to folk, you need a car. And we are in a remote location. Be prepared to drive for fine dining. So that, that was one of the things. But that again, that slowly, we'll slowly change that. But like... What I said when I contacted you and I said, Joe, we've got to do something about this because I'm getting people that are moaning, they can't get adjusted. We're, and we changed that on the web page, which was great. And it's yeah. there, so they'll go before they come, which is fantastic. Do you want to say anything about um, your experience on Instagram and Facebook? Because um, anybody, I'll put the link up for Lizzie's Instagram page and Facebook, actually, with this video, because... It really is a fantastic example. How many followers have you got on Instagram? It's it's really high, isn't it? I think we've got over 8,000. I think we've got 9,000 on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Really good. And, and yeah, do you, we did pretty well. And like, you, you, again, you mentioned it a bit earlier about just finding something to post about, but you've also got some experience with influencers, haven't you? Yeah, the influencing is a big thing. You need to, but you really have to pick the right one. We were quite lucky because our Facebook and um Instagram, I was posting up funny little things. And then um, one of the big, big influencers contacted us and I didn't know who she was. And um, she kept asking, have you got availability? Have you got availability? And, and I just went, who is this girl? And I went in and looked, I went, oh, wow. So I went back and I went, I'll make availability for you. <laughs> and she actually paid. She okay. paid and she came and she works with, it's the iLife. She works with Visit Scotland and Visit Aberdeenshire. She's a huge, huge following. That was a game changer for us. And then once she done it, we got a lot more influencers getting in contact. But you really have to be picky and choosy and you really have to play hardball with them and say, well, this is what I'll give you. If What are you giving me? Yeah. And so look at how many followers they've got. And, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But it does work. It definitely does work. Um, Aberdeenshire Works con um, Walks contacted us. And I thought, yeah, they would be a, a perfect fit for us. And um, a lovely couple, they came, visited. Um, again, they paid. We gave them a discount. And the amount of followers and bookings I got from that was phenomenal. They were really, oh, really good. 
So it's and then we've had some that's they've been they're huge influencers and we've not had anything back. So it's really mm -hmm. picking. So you need um, to choose, what, choose them well. Yeah. You need to you need to pick if if it's a family and influencer, we don't do we don't do kids. So mm -hmm. that's not any good for us. So yeah. you really have to look to see and um, and look out there and look to see what they've put up and ask other people as well that they've promoted. What did you get out of this? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the other thing again that you do just finally on social media is you really network well and you've got a really good um yeah. a, a really good community of, of, of other local businesses and what have you that, that yeah. you all sort of work well together and you share each yeah. other's posts and you comment and you promote each other's services yeah. and goods and everything. And that that's that's a really that's worked really well. I'm not saying that you've done it just for publicity because there's that support level as well. But yeah. it works really well for you, doesn't it? To have that. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, Kildrummy Inn's 15 minutes away. They're they're a Michelin starred restaurant. They're only open. They're not open in February. They work was fantastically. We send people to us. We send people to them. We've got a really good working relationship with them. We've got a um, shipper top. The, the farmer just up the road, Scott, we promote they guys. And um, we've got a friend down the road who's got a pod in the Isle of Lewis, we'll promote them mm -hmm. and vice versa, you know, so it, it works well. If, I've, if I'm fully booked, I'll send people to these places that are, yeah. that are close by as well and they'll do the same. Yeah. But it's also it, it's 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 again it just makes sense and it's nice to, to sort of support that community and, and support other other like small businesses. But aside from that, it it sort of adds to the guest experience as well that you're you're helping yeah. them. You're saying you know this this pub does this fantastic food. This is where I would yeah. go for a really good walk and and just adding that side of things into it's almost like you're doing a bit of the work for the guests for you because as a guest yeah. when we go somewhere new we don't know unless unless we've got somebody. No. So it works it works all, yeah. all around really. Oh, well, that's all been great, Lizzie. Thank you for that. Is is there anything else that, that you wanted to add in for today at all? No, I think I, the only thing I would say is it was such an easy process getting the website up and running. And and I we changed a couple of things and it was so easy. Another thing is, as well, if I need anything added, you are so quick at doing that. If we need anything changed, it's just it's a text message. And it's like, I'll be on to that. And, that, and within 20, 24, 48 hours, it's done. Exactly. So, I mean, you just cannot get that out there, you know? So that's oh, that's fantastic. So I've got to take my hats off to you guys for that. So, yeah, great it, stuff. 